Developing news tonight in Fairfield, where a wind-whipped grass fire spread to a nearby motel. Firefighters raced to save the building as guests raced to get out. Good evening. I'm Dan Ashley. Carolyn Johnson has the night off. The fire burned at the junction of Sassoon Valley Road and Interstate 80 tonight. That's where ABC7 News reporter Alan Wong is live this evening. Alan? Yeah, Dan, the flags behind me are an indication of how the winds are blowing tonight. And they've actually died down a bit since this fire started around 645. Firefighters snuffed out the last of the flames caused by flying embers that crawled inside this palm tree. What started out as a grass fire on the side of Interstate 80 in Fairfield turned into a wind-blown wildfire. The wind was just blowing the fire wherever it wanted to blow. Embers triggered spot fires all over the intersection at Sassoon Valley Road. Some of them got under roof tiles of the Motel 6, and pretty soon the roof was on fire. I got out of there as quick as possible. It was pretty close. It was about probably 10 feet away. Opened the door, and a smoke cloud came in, and embers were everywhere. Um, yeah, it looked like a like a big firestorm. Firefighters say everyone was evacuated, but four motel rooms were damaged. The flames blew closer to Mohammed Aslami, who shot this video from the window of the gas station where he works. Uh, I was getting ready to run. I was just getting ready to lock the doors and just take off. Aslami says he couldn't help thinking about the 30,000 gallons of gas stored underneath him. If anything would have happened, you know, the whole place would have been like a big bomb. At the last moment, fire trucks rolled in and put out the flames just feet from the gas station, and Aslami decided to stay put. And we don't have an exact number of motel guests, but firefighters say they were at 95% capacity when they evacuated the motel. Reporting live in Fairfield, Alan Wong, ABC 7 News. All right.